hey guys welcome back to my channel i am so excited to see that i filmed this video for you guys today because my last three videos have been vlogs and i've just been sitting down and chatting with you guys even i'm talking to my camera right now but technically we are chatting okay anyways yeah if you're new welcome to the family if you're old welcome back and if you're watching and you're not subscribed why just go ahead and click that subscribe button right now and while you're at it click the bell button beside the subscribe button so you get notified anytime i have a new video okay um yeah let's just go ahead this is the look i'm going to be creating today it's going to be like a chit chat get ready with me where i talk about some things that happened to me in the village this past week if you watch my vlog you know that i went to my village for some days so i'm just going to be discussing some of those things why i do my makeup and i'm just hella extra today you know when you're feeling your makeup when you know you're fine when you don't need somebody to tell you that you're fine because you know that you are fine that's me today nobody can tell me nothing <laughs> i'm just being extra you guys don't mind yeah just go ahead and watch the video okay so guys i just finished priming my face with the pond and right now i'm going in with my color pop setting powder in this little container right here i'm going to um uh, basically set the face this is just to keep my face you know matte for long i have oily skin and if i don't follow these two steps literally in one hour oil is dripping like dripping from my face since the first time i tried this i've never not done this it's like holy grail for me if i'm looking down too much just know that i'm looking at my mirror which is on a little table right here i'm going to go in and draw my brows like usually lately i do my face before i even do my brows but i just feel like doing my brows first today so i'm going to go in and draw my brows and i'm just going to forward this part and when we get to the face we're going to start gisting okay As I was just doing my brows, I just realized that I've run out of my deep gold in like it's literally empty. I've scraped everything out of this ColourPop concealer. I already ordered some from ColourPop, this Black Friday sales. And it's on its way. Well, I don't even think they've shipped it, but anyways, um yes, till then I wonder what I'm going to use in place of this. I still have the lighter one, but this is the one that's very close to my skin tone, which is what I used to conceal my brows today because i'm doing something very dramatic already i think i think it's going to be dramatic so i don't want to like overdo it for my face as always if you've been watching me this year literally in fact since colourpop came out i've been using colourpop foundation so that is exactly what i'm going to be using today this is the shade 165 and i normally mix it with l'oreal true match in um, cappuccino and so i'm going to be mixing these two foundations um just because of saving time i'm just going to put like two pumps the pump doesn't come out full i don't know why it gave like that like oh you guys i i think this one is almost running out as well <laughs> anyways then i'm going to mix it with this okay this is what the mixture looks like so yes okay so one Thing I actually wanted to talk about today is like body shaming. Okay, this topic I'm I'm trying to I'm deciding to discuss this topic because this is something I literally go through like all the. In fact, I'm used to it at this point in my life. As annoying as it is, I'm actually used to it, especially from people that you don't even like. People that don't even like impact your life in any way for example um if you guys have been following me i just put out like three vlogs you know that my last vlog um was a burial that i went to my um village for in that vlog well not in that vlog in the village where i was there it's more like anybody that sees you ah chinelo he had the corner wait i'm just like 
okay tell me something i don't know i just find it very annoying when people feel like they have the right to comment on your weight or the way your body looks and those stuff like that it's just so rude if it was coming from my friend so like my really close friend i would understand like it was coming from you know somebody i see every day and maybe i'm not saying anything oh wow you lost weight or you added weight or blah 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 i'll even understand it but when you come from uncles and aunties that i've not even seen in 10 freaking years some of them i can't even remember their names sincerely speaking and you feel like you have the right to comment on my body like why this time around well these days they know me i'm not the type to keep quiet if you feel like you want to comment on my body i'll comment on my body back oh chile love added way ah you too self nezek i forget her like <laughs> let's let's go back and forth if it's what you want to do i'm ready i just find it very 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 annoying and it just pisses me off leave my body alone ah, ah. I've pushed two children out of this body. I have the right to at least have small tummy or even be fat if I want. It's none of your business. And if I want to lose weight, I'm doing it for myself, not because you think I'm fat or you think I don't look good. How like, well, I don't effing care. I only even my husband that thinks I'm okay the way I am or I'm okay the way this is blah blah. blah it's still not even about him. It's all about me. So I'm just like, mind your business, live your damn life, and let me be. Okay. Moving on to um, highlights, I'm going to be using the Colourpop No Filter, of course, in Tan 50. This has a new name, but I bought it a long time ago. So, but yeah, it's Tan 50. Another thing I seriously, seriously, I feel like I'm talking about all these things because they just literally happened to me a few days ago, like last week one thing i seriously seriously or another thing i seriously seriously hate is like when you want to talk to me and you feel the need to like grab me by my hand oh my god that thing pisses me off so much like i'm passing and you want to talk to me instead of to say hey excuse me or you know el nello chinello this that call my name let me talk to you just grab me oh nebiakwa side that oh shit that thing pisses me off so much why do you like first of all i don't know where your hand has been I don't know most most of the time people that actually do this i don't know them i don't remember them and then they say things like oh you don't remember me is me the auntie that taught you when you were in nursery one <sighs> like where do i even begin things like that like it happened a lot this wedding period and i'm just like i give up i really give up on people sometimes i hate that whole dragging by the hand thing like if you want to call me, just say excuse me. I'll most likely turn unless I do not hear you. Even if it's not me you're calling and I hear excuse me, I usually like turn to make sure that you know the person is not talking to me before I carry on with my business. It's so unnecessary. Some of you, you put your hand inside your uh, uh, what's it called your PP area and you <laughs> PP area. Oh my god, Sha, you put your hand inside and you scratch yourself and um, some of you. You blew your nose with your hand. Some of you, you picked your nose. You cleaned your sweat. Like, people do a lot of nasty things with their hands. I mean, I'm guilty of some of those things. But at least I don't go around dragging people by their hands. That thing is very, very irritating. If you do it, please stop it. Like, it is so wrong. Let me not even talk about how they do it in the market. Because those ones, I don't think their redemption is close. Like, it's not, it's not a today thing. Those ones, they have gone too far. Like, yeah. I'm not even going to enter talking about those ones that meet in the market, but it's just very annoying. It's really from all these village aunties and village uncles. Leave people keep your hands to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Simple. If you know my name, call my name. If you don't, if you don't know my name, just say excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the ColourPop No Filter um, powder, <laughs> obviously. I don't want this concealer to crease, so I'm going to set immediately. Today's eyeshadow, I think I'm going to be using this Colourpop. All I see is Magic Palette. Um, looks like this. I hope it's focused. 
because I can't see the screen. Anyways, it looks like this. And um, yeah, I've been, I think the lighting just changed. I think it got better. You guys can hear sounds going on outside. My windows are open. I'm filming in my son's room, actually. My windows are open and literally I live beside the factory. So yeah. Anyways, let me continue my story. Yeah. Another thing is hookups, like marriage oh my god <laughs> this this particular one is so funny and i think i i'm just brushing off my excess powder first of all i think this one is so funny because that's kind of like how i got married not necessarily this exact way but i met my husband in an event in my village basically that was how we met so um yeah this one is different in the sense that like my dad just called me this was still dur during the burial so guys my grandpa that died lived a really really long life you know he was always close with his kids his grandkids like like he didn't live a sad life and so it was kind of like a celebration of life because i mean he was almost 100 years who actually gets to live you know 95 years very few people more like get to live that that long so yeah people like we danced we ate we partied it was like a big party Sha, during the burial, my dad just called me that if it's not that he likes Francis, <laughs> my husband, he's going to marry me off to some other people right now. That um, at that point, literally like up to four people have come to ask him, not really for my hand in marriage, more like, but like if he can hook me up with their kids so that we can get married i just laughed i just laughed because this is so funny and this is so typical like this is so typical where i come from i'm from Newy, by the way in case you didn't know i am a proud Newy woman anyways um yeah it's so typical where i come from because most of all these people already knew, know each other they grew up together they went to school together well for those of them those of them that went all the way and um you know my dad would tell you stories like when him and my husband's dad were kids how they used to carry their books on their head to go to school i i really don't know why they needed boxes to go to school but he used to tell stories like that so he has known my husband's father for like a really really long time even like even when they lost touch they still knew each other i mean the same village eventually everybody comes back to the village it's very common for this kind of thing to to happen where i come from so he was telling me that some people have come to ask for my hand in marriage and not even only me my sister like people just literally see a fine girl dancing find out who the person's father is go straight to the person's father and try to make and try to hook the person up with their son so that they get married i know the funny thing this kind of marriage actually works out a lot for people around where i come from it might sound weird but i feel like it, it actually works for some people i mean they're not forcing you to get married it's just like introducing you to to their what's it called to their child and two of you will just carry on and if it works out it works out and if it doesn't work out like you go your separate ways and move on nobody's forcing you to do anything like i know some people are actually against all this like somebody hooking them up but sincerely speaking if i was still single i wouldn't even mind somebody hooking me up for example if i'm trying to hook up my friend with somebody or my sister with somebody you are certain that i trust that person with literally all my life obviously you can't trust somebody that much people can still disappoint but you get what i mean so i just feel like your parents will not want to let you get married into a family that like they don't like or they don't trust you know something like that i feel like that relationship sometimes is actually good not all the time i mean but i just feel like sometimes the 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 parents having some sort of relationship is good i mean when you marry somebody it's supposed to become like a big ass happy family so that's just my opinion for all of you that will come and start saying hooking up <laughs> children it's not good but from my own personal experience not like in my own marriage per se but like people around me that i've seen this happen to like i mean it's working out for some of them it's not working out for some of them but hey that's not my cup of tea
just um, finished up my eyes. I lined my waterline and I put on my lashes. I'm going to powder my face. Uh, I'm going to use it to brush out the highlight. I'm not going to brush out this one too much now because I'm not contoured. This is just like my natural skin tone that is in the middle of this place. To contour, I'm going to use this Beehive Cosmetic Palette. It's a Nigerian brand. I've been like this has been my go-to eyeshadow palette, but it's not what I use today. But I'm going to be contouring with this. It has a lot of amazing browns for contour. Usually I use this two right here. I just like put my brush around it. If you're darker, if there's a lot of amazing deeper browns here. Sometimes I use this one. This one I use for my nose contour. This one right here. Sometimes I mix it with this one. Like, it's an, it's an amazing neutral palette. So that's what I'm going to be contouring with. And let me just repeat it again, just for repeating sake. Some of you, I see your comments. Oh, your contour is too harsh. Oh, your contour is too dark. Oh, your contour is too this. And your contour is too this. You people, I love dark contours like if i do something neutral i'm not going to like my face i'm not even going to be feeling myself i like when my contour is dark and pronounced so just leave it for me like that it's what i like okay remember what i told you people if it's not your business just just be going i really really like that contour i'm sorry for the sound i really really like that contour so like if my contour is not dark i'm just not feeling the whole makeup it's just me so just leave it for me okay I like it when it's very pronounced. For my lip combo, I use a lot, okay? I first of all line my lips with the Jordana Brown Suede Lip Pencil. Then I use this matte lip cream from Ulta, okay? I use it all over. Then I use this Colourpop um, little stitches. I think that's what it's called. In the center. And then I gloss with this Body Shop um, Shine Lip Liquid. Whatever. I gloss with this. So these are my four colors for my everyday go-to um, lip combo. <laughs> look i am so happy with how this look came out i've been feeling myself i'm a little bit extra but it's all right because i have fine makeup going on on my face hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a comment subscribe share like you guys already know what you're supposed to do at this point i mean for all my steady likers and commenters i see you all and i love you all and i'm going to be doing a giveaway next month december like an end of year giveaway so stay tuned and yeah that's just going to be my way of saying thank you for being consistent and i know my steady likers and commenters all of you that always comment on my videos and i always reply i see you all i see you all okay just stay tuned thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video